Hi, in this video we will learn about ROS to service, service server and service client using TurtleSim package. We will explain how service server and service client are connected using service. Then we will explore some service related commands. Then using RQT we will call some service. And finally we will explain about some important facts about service server, service client and service. Here on the right hand side we have the ROS2 commands which we will use in the video. If you already know ROS1 then on the left hand side you can find the corresponding ROS1 command. In a simple word service uses request and response model. Example service client requests some service for example to pause the robot and the service server will do the task and sends its response for example pausing successful or unsuccessful. Let's explore it by practical. Open terminator and I'll split the screen into some parts. Next here we'll run turtlesim node executable we we'll just type ros2 run then turtlesim and turtlesim node we'll just keep it always on top next here type ros2 then hyphen h here we will use this service command so just type ROS2 service then hyphen H and here in commands you can see we can use this call list type so find these all commands we can use after ROS2 service so we will use this list command just type ROS2 service then list So these are the services which are available is clear, kill, spawn, reset. You can also type hyphen t after this command to get its uh, service type. So this uh, on the right hand side you can see its service type. Next here type ROS2 node info then the node name turtlesim and here uh, you can find uh, in the service server section like we have this service clear kill reset spawn which we already seen uh, by using ROS2 service list command so now we'll just uh, run the turtle tallyop key executable just type ros2 turtle run turtle sim then turtle tallyop key and we'll just move the turtle next we'll call this clear service so let's check uh, what is the role of the clear service so we'll use this call command so we'll go for the help and here in the usage you can observe we have to type ROS2 service call then service name service type and value so we'll just type ROS2 service then call the service name which is clear then the service type std ser srv srv empty and then the value actually this service is of type empty 
so we don't need to pass any value and value is a def uh, so here you can observe that after calling the service the path traversed by the turtle is gone which was in white color so this was the role of this clear service next we'll explore the skill service so uh, we'll just change this name to kill and then the service type which is turtle sim this uh, so just press double tab and we need uh, this is not an empty type service so uh, we need to pass the argument value so just type ros to interface proto and then this service type so here we have to pass this name uh, argument mm, it will be a name of a uh, turtle so our turtle name is turtle one so just open a text editor and paste the output here and change this uh, and type turtle one so uh, just copy this and paste it here so just press enter after calling this command you can find that our turtle is gone so this was the rule of the kill service now we have to again start the turtle sim node executable and we'll keep it always on top next we'll call this spawn service which is of type turtle sim srv spawn so we'll just type spawn and its service type then it's not an empty type service so we need to pass some uh, argument value so we'll call this uh, ros to interface proto command and we got the output now just copy this output and paste it in the text editor here change the x value to 2 then this y value to 2 this theta value to also 2 and name name will give ninja turtle so just copy it and paste it here now you can observe that there's a new turtle uh, which is on the position 2 2 x 2 y 2 so this was the role of the spawn service next we'll call this reset service which is of type empty so we don't need to pass any uh, value just type reset and then uh, std just press double tap and press enter so this reset service will bring the turtle at the starting uh, configuration and delete the other turtle now we'll again start the turtle sim node executable and keep it always on top and we'll move this turtle next we'll call this set pen service turtle one set pen so we'll just copy it and paste it here then the service type turtle just press double tab and then we need to find uh, we need we have to pass some value so we'll call this proto command ros to interface proto so just paste that service type here and copy this output
so we need to pass this rgb width these values just paste it here and uh, we'll change this g value to 255 and width to 2 next copy it and uh, paste it here So we got some response next we'll uh, move the turtle now you can observe that the path traversed by the turtle is in green color so that was the role of the uh, set pen service next uh, we'll open rqt so just type rqt And go to the plugins then service and service caller and here we'll call the spawn service here just change uh, we need to change this x y parameter so just change the x uh, value to 4 so y value to 4 and uh, turtle, the name will give again the same name ninja turtle and then click on this call button now here you can observe that we have this turtle so we have already used this spawn service with the help of command line tool with the help of rkt also you can use this service next uh, it just refresh it and here you can observe that now the service for the ninja turtle is also available so we will just use this set pen service and change this width to 4 this rgb values uh, will keep it to 0 only and call the service so we got the response now uh, we will move the turtle so just go to the message publisher and select ninja turtle cmd well just the, uh, the first one and click on plus so here we'll change this uh, linear x value to 2 and angular z value to 2 and click here now you can observe that this ninja turtle is moving uh, and it's uh, the path traversed by it is in black color because we passed this rgb to zero now here is an important thing that there can be many public many service client using the same service but there can be only one service server for service mostly we use service model when we have to do some quick work which we will have to call it at a regular interval of time for example we can have a service for reading the input or firing the output we can have a service for play pause resume and stop function of the robot so that's it for this tutorial i hope you like this video and learn something new if you like this video please give us like and subscribe our channel and keep learning